I talked to a DJ the other day who told me that during an event, he was attacked, assaulted. Can you believe that? Hi, it's Bill. This is Creative License. Thanks again for being a part of my little dog and pony show. Uh, my sponsor is Electro Voice, DJ Event Planner, Promo Only, and Disc Jockey News. want to thank you for uh, all the things you've said about them and, and, and for taking advantage of their wonderful services. And I want to thank you as well. Also, my workshop, The Entertainment Experience, if you want to know more about that, reach out. So, yeah, the, the DJ got assaulted. He got attacked at an event with somebody who wanted to have a song. And when he didn't play it for him, they got really nasty, which happens, right? That's happened to me. It's happened to you. They will send up somebody to request it a, billion, a bunch of times, right? They'll tell all their friends, keep requesting this song so it looks like it's really popular. Uh, they'll come up and tell you, well... Uh, the host of the party, this is their favorite song. All these things happen. But to have somebody attack you because you won't give them exactly what you want, that's really a boundary that I don't think that any of us really want uh, 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 to happen or a boundary we want anybody to, to cross. So what should you do uh, if you are uh, assaulted, attacked in an event? It's happened to me. It hasn't happened uh, uh, for a very long time. And it was when I used to work in the bars. Uh, and in the bars, number one thing that would happen if you got attacked or the DJ got attacked for any reason or any of the staff got attacked for any reason, then they had security there to take them out of the facility. You were given the time to figure out if you felt safe. You were able to walk away from what you were doing to be sure you were safe. And security took care of those people so that you felt safe to be able to continue your job. But when you're doing an event at a wedding uh, or a company party or something like that, and these people are putting this party on for the guests that they've invited, it feels like it gets really tricky, doesn't it? It feels like, you know, I, I can't swing back at this person. I can't push back at this person. I don't know what to do. I mean, who's, who, whose side are they gonna take? The DJ side? Or are they gonna take the side of the, the customer? the 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 guest of the event because hey they certainly know your client better than you they get invited to a party right well i guess my advice on this would be to know exactly what your boundaries are when it comes to this sort of thing and then stick to them no matter what if i have if i would ever ever be attacked uh, physically at any event, the first thing that I would do would be to shut down everything that I have, all of my equipment. I would move away from it and move directly towards the exit. If there was security in the building, I would find them. If, uh, if I could find the client as I was leaving, I would find them and let them know that the event is over, that it is uh, not cool to have somebody uh, upset with me and to the point of physically attacking me. Um, that is, that has to be, if you're going to go that way, you need to hold tight to that. You, you cannot be the person that says, well, you know, maybe he was just being okay. I mean, you can do that if you want, but you need to make it really clear that that's a boundary you have. Number one, it should be in your contract. It should be in your contract that they should be very aware of where your boundaries are when it comes to that sort of a thing. Now, does this happen all the time? No, no. It is a very rare thing that anybody would, would attack physically you when you're doing your job. But when you're doing your job, you're certainly not also waiting for that punch, right? You're not ready to attack back. And we are not in a position to be able to do that and, and get away with it when it comes to the reputation we have to deal with because we attacked back, because no one's gonna see. Most people aren't gonna take your side because you weren't a guest, right? So in your contract, it needs to be clear. In fact, I make it very clear, not only in the contract and the things that I will not do and the things that I won't do for any reason, I make sure that I say them out loud and point to them in the contract so they understand that that sort of behavior is completely not cool and that I will not have put myself in danger for their party and they will pay me. Now, I say that before they sign a contract. Do you? Do you have it in your contract that you can be safe? That you should be able to be safe. 
But putting it in your contract, talking to your client ahead of time, and making sure that you are covered so that when you can walk away to be safe is a really good idea. And if it's not in your contract, gosh, man, you really should still walk away and be safe because you're sober and you're working and there's no job in the world, no job in the world except for maybe a police officer, that if somebody attacks you, that they would think it was cool, that they would think it was okay. And even a police officer would arrest you. Okay, we don't, we don't have that. What do you think? There's, I think it's a bigger conversation than I have time for, but what do you think? Write your comments below, and thanks for joining me on this week's Creative License.